Yeah, good day, guys. Uh, amazing backdrop right there. Just getting to the end of our Saturday. Been an absolutely amazing day. Uh, two hikes today. 10 and a half to 11 kilometer out at uh, Mount Mitchell for the sunrise. And then this one, the Winder Trail. Yeah. I guess one of the biggest questions or one of the biggest fears for a lot of people bushwalking is uh, potentially running into a snake. Look, when it comes down to it, we prepare for the worst, hope for the best. End of the day though, what is the risk of coming across a snake? Uh, minimal, you make noise, snakes go away. They, um, they don't wanna hassle you and they don't want you to hassle them. They're not about trying to bite someone. They don't get food from people. Yeah, do it. We've done this year, 33 weekends in a row hiking on track, off track, through some pretty dense scrub. Uh, we have seen two cover pythons, um, both times laying across a track, not dissimilar to this track, uh, a little bit skinnier, but uh, having a rest, getting some sun in the morning to warm up. And one of them left before we got close enough to take a video. The second one, we gave it a little bit of a tickle uh, with a branch and, uh, and off she went to, into the scrub to enjoy the rest of her day. I'm gonna be honest, out of the, I don't know, probably six, 700 kilometers we've done so far this year, we've seen two, so what are your chances? Look, I'm gonna say if you go out once a month and go for a hike, very slim. Um, chances of actually getting bitten, uh, I'd say slim to 0.00001%. I won't say none because I'll jinx myself. Uh, so. If the only reason you don't walk is your fear of snakes, uh, grab a snake bite kit, grab a hydration pack and get out there and have a look around.